Welcome back, or welcome to the channel if this is your first video. This will be episode 50 and the conclusion of the 2023 prep series. As of recording this, it's December 10th. Um, so about three weeks post-show, definitely put on some healthy weight, some bit of unhealthy weight probably um, in terms of the rate of fat gain, but not gonna get into this in this video. We'll definitely have an off-season um, series and delve into that. Um, but first and foremost, just want to say thank you guys for supporting along the prep. If it is your first video and somehow this video blew up and has a sense of views, welcome to the channel. Definitely subscribe for more. Um, but first and foremost, just going to take like a bird's eye view of the whole 2023 prep. We'll kind of break down the show's results and judges' feedback if I have any. And then we'll kind of recap the prep as a whole. I'll share some of my thoughts and then um, that will be a wrap on the 2023 prep series once again. Um, now gonna kind of just overlay different photos, um, check in things, everything to do kind of prep style that I have from the prep files to kind of fill in the gaps of what I am mentioning. Um, so yeah, first and foremost for prep for 2023 started with a body rate or weight around the mid 230s. I know I don't have much video or photos from this time, so I'll do my best to get some stuff on screen as well as just kind of sharing um, the graphs of kind of that weight loss and the trajectory, which is pretty crazy to look at. And that kind of brings me um, throughout the prep was a 42 week prep start to finish and we hit a lowest weigh in of 189 depleted uh, not all of that time was spent in a deficit but i can't really get into all the different nuances of prep for this would be a very very long video so you'll kind of see there from that mid 230 weigh in at the starter prep in february down to a depleted low probably early november at 189 and then for training throughout prep, um, we did do push, pull, legs. And then I had like a cardio and weak point day. I'll kind of throw up on screen what that training looked like. And then we finished out the week with an upper lower. So kind of a hybrid six day split, really five like actual hard training days. Um, but really nothing changed in terms of training obviously lost a bit of strength throughout the 42 week prep, but for the most part, very happy with performance as a whole. Nothing really dipped per se. It was more so I just had to check my ego and be realistic with myself that when you're in the mid 230s, you're gonna be able to move a bit more weight than when you're 189 depleted, low body fat, joints don't feel as well. Um, your knee sleeves don't fit as tight. Don't get as much stretch reflex out of those things when you're 40 pounds lighter. So just kind of a ton of different aspects going to it, but very happy with training as a whole, just kept intensity high and intent when entering sessions. In terms of the nutrition side of thing, calories um, essentially dropped from 3,200 to a low of um, 1,967 days or 67 a day. And that was just really the depletion um, days of peak week for my final show. So realistically, calories more so dropped about from 3,200 to um, right around 2,050 to 2,100 at its lowest. Um, and we took a pretty linear approach with kind of just dropping calories down as we went. At the beginning of the prep, um, didn't really have to make many adjustments for many weeks going forward. Um, and then towards the back half of prep, got a little bit more aggressive just to kind of try and push and peel off some extra weight. And then in terms of cardio, um, started with zero cardio. And just as um, a pretty sedentary person job-wise, realistically probably wasn't even breaking 6,000 steps a day and then slowly as um, prep kind of progressed, we had worked that up to 10,000 plus steps with an eight pound weighted vest. And that eight pound weighted vest kind of came into prep towards um, the later half. Uh, and then we had structured 20 minutes 
of cardio and we started that probably at about 20 weeks out and that was 200 calories and then by the end of prep that was up to 250 calories of structured cardio so really just increasing steps linearly and then just slightly increasing cardio but nothing too drastic in terms of structured cardio and then kind of getting to the different shows of prep and we did four um, different shows the first one being the OCB Lone Star Rising um, you'll see footage up on that hopefully there's kind of some labels on screen so you can see the different classes um, but ultimately with that show, I won't lie to you, it was just very disappointing in terms of placing. We took third place in the novice classic physique category and then fourth place in the open classic physique category. And just, um, I guess, fair disclosure there, there wasn't a bodybuilding category and I ultimately just hopped into classic physique because the promoter had reached out to me and let me know that there wasn't any other entries into bodybuilding about a week or two out from the show. So I made that choice to jump over and I'll kind of throw up the judging criteria for the OCB, but it's a little bit frustrating in classic because it is so subjective. Um, and I'll throw up the judges feedback as well on screen. But as you can kind of see, I didn't get any really constructive feedback other than I had a bodybuilding physique, which is frustrating because what am I supposed to work on entering a show that has bodybuilding? Um, no like shade of promoters, but ultimately I wanted to do bodybuilding and it wasn't really an option unless I wanted to walk out on stage and get my participation trophy, which I wanted to compete. And then in terms of the placings um, between novice and open, all of the competitors in the top five were the exact same and I asked for feedback regarding the placings and why those change between the two classes, especially because we had went out for novice, essentially walked around the curtain and then walked straight back out for open. So it wasn't like there was a big time gap that physiques could really change, um, but ultimately never got any other feedback on that show. Um, so from there, that was the end of August. And then mid-September, we hop into the Phoenician Classic through the IMBF, WMBF. And you'll see some pre-judging footage on screen from that. Um, overall, just a super great experience. Um, the footage, as you're seeing, is top quality in terms of the media package they had with um, Better Aesthetics, so shout out to him. And then also, um, although there was just three people in men's open bodybuilding, no weight categories or anything, split in this show, three great athletes in um, Job, who would be in the middle at this point, and then Jordan on the far right, or Job maybe on the left, um, but ultimately, two other great competitors there. And then just the way the show was ran start to finish, the promoter's communication was awesome. And in that show ultimately took second place in the men's open bodybuilding. Um, another cool thing that the promoter did was actually send us the scorecards from the judges. So I will throw that up on screen. And it really came down to a split decision uh, between me and Job. And that's kind of why you may see me move to the middle. Definitely was a close comparison between us two. And ultimately he got the edge and kudos to him. Just a great physique, just incredible back development um, and something that I will lack. And I'll throw up that judge's feedback for you so you can kind of see that. Um, very much better feedback than the OCB show and you guys can kind of see um, they're just very nicely organized so we have kind of um, symmetry and legs were kind of my strong suit and then in terms of improvements definitely back with I'm aware of just um, back in general is definitely going to be an area that we'll have to focus on in the off season 
And then they mentioned upper chest as well. And I think just the main focus of off season in general will definitely be um, upper body as they kind of mentioned something to consider there. In terms of the upper body conditioning, um, I can't really control where the fat comes off. So we definitely came in one of my best shapes of the season, but yeah, for some reason, just my upper body seemed to lag behind my lower body conditioning. And that may just be a muscular development thing. So we'll definitely work on that, but really just can't say enough how great of an experience the Phoenician Classic was especially coming off the back of that OCB show to start the season, all um, honesty. And then the third show of the season was the MPC Midwest Gladiator. And this was not a show that at the beginning of the season or even in the middle of the season, I thought I would be competing in. Um, but as we'll get into further, prop was not. Um, always smooth sailing or all sunshine and rainbows for me. Um, but with the NPC Midwest Gladiator, I competed in four different classes, um, two novice classes in both bodybuilding and classic physique. And we did take first in both of those classes. So that was light heavyweight for bodybuilding. Um, they did not do an overall for novice at all. Um, and then for classic physique, I was in class B and took first in the novice class as well. Um, once again, no overalls for novice. I don't know if that's something that's normally done in the MPC or just show specific. Um, but moving on from that, we did take second in the open light heavyweight bodybuilding. Um, and ultimately, the gentleman that won my class. Ian went on to win the overall, um, and kudos to him, just a great physique, very well muscled and older guy, so has that kind of nice grainy look to his physique. And then for the um, Open Classic, Class B, we did take fourth place, and just overall super happy with the package we brought to that show. Um, this was one of the shows that unfortunately I didn't get judges feedback that definitely could be my own fault. I had emailed the judges with the criteria that they asked of us. Um, just never heard back in my Google Drive at one point, so my Gmail is full, so I don't know if they had attempted to email me back, but I had followed up with them a couple of times and hadn't gotten any feedback, but ultimately from the other shows throughout the year, we kind of know what we need to improve on, which once again is kind of that back width thickness and then just kind of upper body all around, just continue to develop, especially being at the age of 23, the next couple of years will definitely be very productive ones um, as we get going forward. And then the final show of the 2023 prep series for me was the Ben Weeder Natural Pro-Am and that was in Arlington, Virginia. And with that show, um, I competed in open light heavyweight for bodybuilding. There was just two competitors. Um, and ultimately the guy that won that light heavyweight class went on to win the overall and his um, natural IFBB pro card or just IFBB pro card in bodybuilding. And that was Jacob O'Neill, who just has an incredible physique, has been training for over a decade, almost a decade and a half from what I can remember off the top of my head. Um, so just super cool to grace the stage with such a great competitor, uh, regardless if it was unfortunately just two of us on stage. Would have loved to see a comparison with some of the other people from the other classes. Um, and then in my Open Classic Physique Class B, I did take ninth out of um, like a mid-teen amount of competitors, but ultimately um, just my physique, I feel like doesn't really fit the Classic Physique category. So didn't make the first call outs. And then um, from there, just kind of placed in the top of the second call out because they had done a call out of eight or nine um, for first call outs, but not gonna like harp on that too much. My um, kind of 
commitment or where I'd like to emphasize or kind of pursue is within bodybuilding category. So you'll see the feedback that I did receive on screen, um, that conditioning was good and then focus really on delts and upper back. So just more of the same in terms of um, the feedback, just improving the upper body and specifically that back width and thickness. So that kind of recaps all things for the four different shows. Um, and just kind of to highlight, um, the two MPC shows were ran very well. So the Midwest Gladiator and then also the Ben Weeder Natural. Just wish there would have been a bigger turnout for the Ben Weeder Natural in bodybuilding. Um, but ultimately that's just how the cookie crumbled. So kind of recapping as a whole, um, just first and foremost, really happy with all of the great improvements that we made from 2019 in my first competitive season <clears throat> when I was a teenager. And I'll throw up some pics on the screen of that um, just to kind of see. But like in terms of that prep, I overcame a lot as well. Just did a 13 week prep in that 2019 season. Um, and did that prepping off of cafeteria food while playing division one rugby and really running myself into the ground cardio wise. So um, definitely a lot going on there that a lot could have been improved, but just super proud of myself on this most recent prep, especially navigating a 42 week prep, self coach while working a full time job, maintaining relationships, moving in the middle of that. Um, just a lot going on, but just very happy with um, everything there. Did even get sick in the middle of prep, which was definitely tough as I'm somebody that gets hungrier while I'm sick. I know a lot of people lose appetite. I am very much so the opposite um, for the most part. So for me, having elevated hunger on top of the normal prep hunger was definitely rough. Um, but yeah, just once again, super proud of myself. Um, through there, just balancing all things life and prep. And then as I kind of mentioned, it wasn't really the prep I had planned for. It wasn't all sunset and rainbows. Two of the four shows that I wanted to do were canceled or really never took place. One of those being an INBA, PMBA show in Oklahoma um, that was supposed to take place in mid-fall in had only kind of wanted or chose to hop into that OCB Midwest Lone Star Rising show because of the IMBA PMBA show being canceled. And then also in November, as I kind of highlighted, I didn't plan on doing the NPC Midwest Gladiator, but the show I had originally planned, the USBF um, United States Championship was also canceled as they were doing some restructuring within the organization. And then lastly, that final show, the Ben Weeder Natural, I hadn't planned on doing because I wanted to, and kind of my long-term goal was to compete at WMBF Worlds as an amateur. And um, the goal was to go pro at Amateur Worlds. And then um, if I chose to, and probably wouldn't have to be honest, with the level of competition competed on the pro stage that Sunday or the following day. Um, but kind of just recapping things as a whole, like although things didn't go to plan there, there's so many things to be grateful for in life and I have so many blessings. And I know as Sam Okinola says, I may butcher it, so don't quote him on this, but it's just bodybuilding, it ain't that serious. Um, so that's just one thing to keep in mind. There's a lot more to life than just competing, especially when it's not my full-time job. I'm not a full-time content creator, a professional bodybuilder. Um, I do it because I'm passionate about it and want to see how far I can push myself. And then um, just kind of coming back to faith, Jeremiah 29.11 states it perfectly. I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you, not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Um, so that's just there to remember that although you may have plans, the Lord has plans for you and they're the right plans to prosper you and give you hope in a future. 
So kind of rolling into this off season, the main focus really is just gonna be practicing gratitude in everyday life. Um, and then also chasing wisdom, continuing to grow as a person, grow within my knowledge of the sport, training, nutrition wise, and then focusing on the three pillars of stay fed, that being faith, effort, and discipline. Um, but yeah, with that being said, stay tuned for the initial episode of the off season prep se or off season series, that being chasing wisdom. And just want to say thank you once again. If you stuck with me through the prep series, if this is your first time watching the channel. I'm happy to have you here. But as always, have a great rest of your day and stay fed.